Hey everybody, this video is us wanting to explain some things about React World. The confusion and negative response over what this all is has been so overwhelming. And what we've realized is that we completely screwed up with how we originally talked about this. First and foremost, we're sorry for confusing people by using terminology like our React format. We were never trying to say that every video or someone reacts to something else is something we would try to control. When we referenced licensing the React format, we only meant our specific series, not the overall genre of reaction videos. We do not own the genre. And we're creators at heart, and those who know us personally know how passionate we are about trying to help creators, and React World is meant to be an extension of that with us simply providing resources and tools to anyone who wants to go down this path of creating one of our series with direct support from us. So there's no way to go into all of the questions that people have about this, but we're going to answer some of the biggest ones that we've seen. Okay, so first, is what exactly constitutes any of your series formats. And the simple answer is watch any of our series that is part of the React World license, and that is the exact format. It's not one or two elements, it's all of the elements of the show, all used in the same style and way. We've been trying to find an analogy to explain this better, and we know that this isn't the best, but if you wanted to start a fast food restaurant, you can start one on your own and possibly find huge success but if you love Burger King and want to be part of that organization, if you join, you'd be able to get access to things like menu items and recipes and specific logos and promotional support. And these are two totally different routes. Same kind of thing here with React World. You can join and get all these assets and support, or you can make your own reaction videos completely without us. It's up to you. Okay, so another question is, have you applied for any trademarks? Yes. We have trademarks just like other companies that use trademarks to protect their properties. So for example, we have a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash react. So we're trying to protect it and not run the risk of losing our channel name thanks to someone else getting the trademark. But just because we have or might get trademarks doesn't mean we're going to run around and start taking down videos. And the last thing we're gonna talk about is if there has ever been a situation where we have to take down someone's video. Yes. And look, when you create series and products, sometimes there is specific situations where your content is being infringed. Like if someone freeboots a video on Facebook, or in very rare cases, if someone produces a beat-by-beat -beat version of your exact series, which has happened to us. But again, with this one and all of these, it's very, very complex. And we also know that there's so many more questions that you guys have, and we wanna do our best to answer as many of them as possible. So we've set up an email that we will be personally checking if you want more clarification. So please write us at askthefinebros at gmail.com. For our viewers who are not really part of this conversation and just here to watch our videos, thanks for sticking with us through this. And for everyone else, we want to continue the conversation, but either way, we just wanted to thank everyone for hearing us out.